at breakfast. Podcast. Hello again, episode 213 this time around. Welcome to the best bits of the Atom Radio Breakfast Show podcast. And this is Mark Denham from The Breakfast Show, Monday to Friday, 6 until 10, online, on mobile and on smart speaker. Coming up this week in the podcast, we have Star Wars, the hype that I never got as a child and still don't as an adult. Top tips on getting up that aren't really needed because we wanted to know about not getting up. We have the consequences of bad writing style. We have luck. We've got proof that life is actually a race. What can't one in six people do? And also friends or friends plus to be more accurate mark denham at breakfast podcast in the news disney have unveiled a real lightsaber and star wars fans are in awe i don't know if it's just me i never really got the star wars hype if i'm honest i didn't get it and i still don't now but there we are this is mark denham at breakfast atom radio if you could talk for one minute and the whole world would listen for your minute what is it that you would talk about? So we forget for a minute language barriers and that. Life would be so much simpler, wouldn't it, if everybody spoke the same language? If we all spoke English, then you would remove an awful lot of barriers around the world. But anyway, today, assume that you are ignoring language barriers and you can speak for a minute and the whole world will listen. What is it that you would want to speak about? On air at atomradio.co.uk. Morning, Cam, and happy Monday to you. Cam says, I'd want to speak about raising the speed limits on motorways. I think it's so frustrating that we can still only do 70 miles an hour. They're supposed to be uh, investing in the roads and all of that. And yet still we're stuck at 70 miles an hour and sometimes 60 or 50 or 40, depending on what somebody fancies putting up on a sign. Therefore, I would like to spend my minute suggesting the merits of putting up the speed limit on the motorways. I'm with you on that, Cam, I really am. We've had a speed of 70 miles an hour for, what, 40, 50 years now. Surely technology has advanced and braking distances have shrunk. Therefore, it's only down to poor drivers, is it not, that the speed limit is still 70. It cannot seriously be any other reason, can it, that the speed limit is still 70. Nothing else. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. Yesterday, I read a piece from uh, somebody claiming to have the ideal way that you should be able to wake up if you struggle in the morning. And this includes change your expectations. Uh, well, my expectations to get up. I don't really need to change that. Start running. All right, all right. I get up at five. This show starts at six. When am I going to fit a run in? Uh, meditate before going to bed. No, not for me. Book a morning class. Again, I get up at five and this show starts at six. When am I going to fit that in? And also a sad lamp. You put it on and it dims the room down gradually before you go to sleep. Those are the top tips. I could do that, by the way, with my smart lighting, but I don't. Anyway, those are the top tips on how you should get up. If you're, if you're struggling, those are the top tips on improving how it is that you will be able to get up. Today on Top 5 Tuesday, I want to reverse that around. And I want the top five excuses you can find for staying in bed. On air at atomradio.co.uk, my email address on any given day for any given show and any given topic. Today, I would like you please to tell me the best excuse that you have for staying in bed when your alarm goes off. Now, we are compiling a top five. I'll do that and I just need one from you. So if you can think of an excuse to stay in bed when your alarm goes off and not face the day ahead, what would it be? On air at atomradio.co.uk this Tuesday morning. Mark Denham. At breakfast. This is Atom Radio. The top five, therefore, of reasons not to get up when your alarm goes off in the morning stacks up like this. At five, sorry, I can't be bothered. At four, I got up early, I had a run as recommended, but I came home exhausted and fell asleep again. At three, I'm auditioning for early retirement and therefore I won't be getting up this morning. At two, my union, which I've just formed, has called a strike for today and I'm taking industrial action. And the top reason for not getting up when your alarm goes off, I did yesterday and I didn't like it, so I'm not doing today and I'll try again tomorrow. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. And morning to you if you are waking up this morning thinking, ah... Kids are off today. Yep, the teachers are on strike today and tomorrow, and therefore there will be a couple of unscheduled days off. Can I tell you what really, really annoyed me was? Number one, the teacher strike has been known about for ages, and yet the school gave less than 48 hours' notice. 
And number two, on the letter they sent out, it said uh, industrial action on Wednesday the 15th and Thursday the 16th. Therefore, on that day, well, on which day? On which day? And I emailed the school back and said, on which day? Uh, given that you've given two days and then said that day, which of the days or is it both of the days? Uh, thank you so much. I get an email back. Dear parent, it's obviously both of the days. Not sure where the confusion came from. So I just emailed back. Uh, Dear office worker, thank you so much for the confirmation. The confusion came from the laziness of your copying and pasting. Kind regards, parent. Mark Denham at breakfast. This is Atom Radio. A man won a million dollars on the lottery twice in one day because he was in trouble with his wife. Imagine winning that, $2 million, when you win the lottery twice in one day. Wow, I've not won it once yet in one lifetime. Mark Denham. At breakfast. This is Atom Radio. Inhale through your mouth, swallow saliva twice and slowly exhale through your nose. What am I talking about? That is apparently a surefire way to solve hiccups. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. And I had a thought yesterday, and it's kind of stewed around in my head late last night and early this morning. And that is... You know when they say life isn't a race? Well, it actually really is a race. It's a race in many, many, many ways. Uh, It's a race to get the job that you want before someone else gets it. It's a race to find the partner that you want before someone else finds them. It's a race in many, 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 many ways. And therefore, I'd say that the early bird does catch the worms. Even though I'm no bird and I don't want a worm, I just thought it it makes perfect sense to accept that life is actually a race. This is Mark Denham. At breakfast. Atom Radio. Streaming from Slough Loud across the net, this is Mark Denham at breakfast, banging out the anthems on Atom Radio. 717, welcome to Thursday. Singing helps to reduce depression and anxiety. It increases the oxygen flow to your lungs and helps you have better posture. I'd imagine if I was to start singing, it may perhaps reduce my depression and anxiety, but it definitely up yours. I can't sing. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. At some radio morning then. Welcome to Friday. Going back to yesterday, one in six people can't tell the time using an analog clock. Therefore, I look at the top of the screen and tell you it's 6.17. I'm not boasting. It's just something that I learned to do as a child. Mark Denham. At breakfast. This is Atom Radio. A bit like confessions today, really, isn't it? But on Friday, I would like to know from you what is something that you have done but later categorically denied when you've been asked about it. So it wasn't me. Honest, Gov, it wasn't me. On air at atomradio.co.uk. If you want to get involved this morning for the things you've done but categorically denied. And I quite like this from James. Uh, morning to you. James's worker just had new kitchen cupboards fitted and James happened to be the first in at work. And he went to open one of the cupboards and get a mug out and the door came clean off in his hand. So James wedged the door back in to the cupboard, made himself a cup of tea, went and sat at his desk and said absolutely nothing. Next person into the office is James's boss, who does exactly the same thing, goes to the kitchen and goes to make a cup of tea. There's no noise or anything. James's boss then comes over to him and says, James, was there a problem in the kitchen when you went there? James said, no, no problem at all. Why? And he said, well, the cupboard door just came off in my hand. He said, well, he said it was all right when I used it. Well done, James. Good bluffing. Everyone loves a bluffer, don't they? You've got to be able to keep a straight face, though, haven't you? That's my problem, then. I'd be so cracked up about the fact the cupboard door had come off in my hand that when someone said to me what had happened, I'd just burst out laughing when I'd been asked, yeah, was there a problem when you used it? Uh, no, not at all. Mark Denham at breakfast. This is Atom Radio. You know, it is common to have a crush on a friend. Now all your friends will be looking at you all day thinking... Does he or she have a crush on me? It's going to happen, isn't it? And you'll be looking at your friends thinking, does he or she have a crush on me? It is going to happen now that I've said that. Mark Denham. At breakfast. Podcast. So have you questioned yet which of your friends has a crush on you? They're also questioning which of their friends has a crush on them, and it could be you in their eyes. You see, now we've opened the can of worms, haven't we? That can of worms is fully, fully open, and all the worms are wriggling out. There you go. Uh, also, how is it that people can't tell the time from an analogue clock? I'm actually 
lost in that, I learned to tell the time from an analog clock long before I ever had a digital watch or anything. And I just don't understand how it is that one in six people can't actually read an analog clock. I don't know. Strange that. I don't know. Very, very strange. Thank you, as always, for checking out episode 213 of the podcast. Cheers for your ears, as we like to say. Don't forget, if you do like the show, you can check it out live Monday to Friday, 6 until 10 on atomradio.co.uk, on mobile, on smart speaker as well. You can check out the online radio box app, the TuneIn app, and of course, streamer as well. And just say play Atom Radio to your smart speaker. Mark Denham. App Breakfast. Podcast.